Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll be reviewing the best camera control app called Pixtocam as well as the best gallery app called Anytime Gallery for my Fossil Gen 5. Just so you know, these apps will also work for any Wear OS device. So let's get started. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as you do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab as we have dedicated playlist for Fossil, Samsung and Fitbit smartwatches so be sure to check it out. Before I start, I want you guys to know that I'm not the developer and I was not endorsed by any means to review these apps. It's just my honest opinion. So since I got this Fossil Gen 5, I was looking for a good camera control app. There is this built-in camera app by Google, but this app controls the Gcam by Google mostly found on Pixel devices. But since I have this Samsung phone, I don't have the Gcam on it. Now there are ways to get the Gcam on Samsung phone but it's not the goal of this video. And since this camera app is not working, I was looking for a good camera app and I found this app called Pixtocam. Which is obviously a paid app but it's a very good and functional app in my opinion. So let's start with the installation process. So first download the app on your Android device. I have this S10 Plus with me over here and you can find it in the Play Store by searching for Pixtocam. This is developed by Pixtogram and I paid $2.19 for it. Price may vary uh, on any deals that developer is running or the developer's discretion. But to me $2.19 for such a nice app is not bad at all. Anyways. Once installed on the mobile device, you have to install it on the Wear OS smartwatch. So you can go in the Play Store on the Fossil Gen 5 and again search for Pixtocam and install it. I have already installed it. Once you open it, it will instantly open the camera on the mobile device. The best part is you don't need to do anything on the mobile phone as you can see even the screen is not turned on. So you can even use this app as a spy cam. You can even switch the front camera right from the watch by pressing this button. Which is so cool and that's not it. You can do a lot more with this app. You can change the size and resolution of the image by clicking here. This can also be done for the rear camera and the rear camera on the S10 Plus can take high quality pictures. You can also change the flash settings to on, off as well as auto. The bar on the top displays the phone's battery level which is really cool in case if you're spying you know when your phone will run out of battery. The button under it is apparently for the video recording mode. Once you switch to the video recording mode, you can still get options of flash, uh, battery level indicator, button to switch between front and rear cam, and you can select the video resolution which is cool as I know that the S10 Plus can record to 4K and the files will be pretty large so you can change the resolution to at your wish. This button at the bottom is to start the video recording. Once you start it, the button will turn red, which indicates the, that the recording has started and you can stop it by clicking it again. I wish there was an option to pause and resume the video recording. Now let's switch back to the picture mode. The same options are also available in the picture mode. However, the picture mode has an option of timer. So you can switch between 3 second or 10 second intervals, which is really handy for a group picture. You can even zoom in and out by swiping up to zoom in and swiping down to zoom out. This zooming can also be done for the video mode. To take the picture, click this button and the button will blink. I wish we can see a preview of the picture taken. Uh, maybe the developer can add this on the upcoming update. Now to find the picture that you have taken, you can go in the gallery 
of your mobile phone and find the album or folder named Pixtocam. One other thing about this app is that the live feed is incredible. There are no glitch or lag of the live feed which is incredible and all this works via Bluetooth. I don't have the Wi-Fi turned on right now. So this app has all the bells and whistles you need for a perfect camera control app. So with this deep dive in the options that this app offers, you can see for yourself that this is an incredible app for just about $2. You get a complete package of all the features that a camera control app offers, except few like the image preview and option to pause the video recording, which is absolutely not a deal breaker. So I will personally highly recommend this app. Now let's move on to the next one which is the Anytime Gallery. With this app, you can transfer and view all the pictures that the above app took. Unlike the Samsung Galaxy Watch, there ain't a built-in photo gallery for the Wear OS smartwatches, including my Fossil Gen 5. So, to transfer and see pictures on any Wear OS device, you have to download third-party apps. And I'm going to review the one I personally like and works great for me. There are a lot of, lot of apps that can do this, but here's the thing. Most of the free apps will have a cap or a limit to the number of pictures you can transfer. This app also has a free version which allows only 20 images, so you can even try it out and if you like it, you can pay for the full version. And that's what I did. So that being said, the full version of this app cost me $4.99. Take a note that the price may vary depending on the time of the year or any deals that the developer is running. I paid $4.99 and for me it's totally worth it. However, I would say that the price is a bit on the higher end. Again, I understand the painstaking development process and wouldn't at all mind paying this price for a functional app. So to find this app, um, go on the Play Store of your mobile device and search for any time gallery. Go ahead and install it. This app is developed by Moltag. You also have to install the same app on your smartwatch. So let's go on the Google Play Store of the smartwatch. In the search bar, type Anytime Gallery and you will find the app. I have already installed it. So basically, both these apps communicate with each other to transfer images between devices and the cherry on top is its local storage so you don't have to upload to any server. And you will also be able to access the image even when the watch is not connected to the phone. What I found is it's relatively easy and really quick to transfer the images. It only takes few seconds to transfer the entire album over to the watch from the phone. Let me give you a demo and let's transfer any album and see in real time how long it takes to transfer over to the watch. Now let's go on the watch and see what options do we get. You can see the name of the albums you transferred from the phone with the number of pictures in that album. Once you click on it, the images will be displayed. To browse through the images, you can swipe in either direction. It would be really nice if I can use the rotating crown to browse through the images. You can also pinch to zoom in and zoom out to get the finer details. This is another feature that I really like. You can also double tap to zoom in. You can literally transfer as many images as you want since the Fossil Gen 5 has 8 gigs of onboard storage.
I wish Google could have included a free built-in photo gallery app like the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active has, where you don't need to install any third-party application and can directly transfer images from the mobile phone to the watch. But hey, you still got this Anytime Gallery app which does the job pretty good. So these are my personal favorite app for camera control and gallery. If you use any other app which you like better, please share it in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. With that being said, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.